Hello. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Um, nine Blind Men and the Tiger. Uh, so, Johnny, yeah. uh, you're the lead songwriter, right? Yes. How long have you been writing music? Um, I guess since I was about 13 or 14 is when I started picking up guitar. And just mm -hmm. after that, just writing lyrics. So first it was solo, right? And yeah. Then yeah. Um, started working with these guys? Yeah, yeah. I moved out here and now we're... Did you meet them in Austin or... I've I've known Caden and Roman since high school, and I met Eric through them. Johnny and I were on the drum line together. Um, I met him. I guess I was in eighth grade. He was in seventh grade, and uh, we were on the drum line until I graduated. And then he came down here the year after. So yeah, we go back. <laughs> so the songs they all played on the session are those off of uh, Pablo or off the new release? Uh. The two that we played in the beginning are off Pablo the Moonfrog, and then the very last one's off the new one, which comes Sweet. out next year in January. Yeah, super excited for that. <laughs> um, so what's the story behind the name? Uh, so I, I first saw the name, the band name, when I was taking an AP US history exam, and uh, it was one of the documents that we were tested on or something. We had to write a little essay about it, but the name of the political cartoon was called Nine Blind Men and the Tiger, and it dealt with communist aggression in Vietnam, and that was represented by the tiger, and then nine blind men commenting about what to do about it, and it, I think the cartoon's by Eldon Pletcher. Mm -hmm. a, he, he does a bunch of cartoons throughout the 60s and 70s. Awesome. <laughs> uh, so what are some of y'all's music influences for this project? Uh... I don't know. I listen to like a, I guess a wide variety of things uh, that I, I get my hands on. Um, One of my main influences is Nine Blind Men and the Tiger, um, <laughs> yeah. because Johnny writes the parts to the songs, and I just kind of change small pieces, um, but not really. Uh, yeah, it's kind of the same deal for me. <laughs> Johnny pretty much just shows me the guitar part, and I pretty much play that, or maybe like a little bit of a deviation here and there. Sweet just to spice things up occasionally. Uh, but yeah, everything that you hear on the record is Johnny playing. You all record yourselves? We do. We record in this very room, uh, actually, uh, using the equipment that is heard <laughs> <laughs> on this video. <laughs> and so Johnny will make a, a demo on his phone, uh, like with GarageBand. Uh, that's how you recorded all your past stuff, right? I mean, so yeah, he basically just sends us like, um, the stuff on his phone, and then uh, we import it into Logic, and we'll overdub like a bunch of stuff, or and then just kind of remix a bunch of stuff. So it's still, s still pretty lo-fi kind of, but also you know, you know, yeah, yeah. sounded pretty cool. Uh, do y'all have any plans for the future? Um, we have a EP release show next year, and um, I'd like to get that out there and. Uh, It'll be released through Porch Fire Records, and uh, they've generously uh, put our previous LP out, er, uh, the Pablo the Moon Frog, which will be available uh, this Saturday, December eighth. Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> wow, very cool. <laughs> um, if you had to describe Nine Blind Men and the Tiger as a color, what color would you pick? I say lava lamp. <laughs> yeah. What color lava lamp? You have a exactly. lot of options. Exactly. Different colors. Swimming around. Hot. Cold. It's a good time. Swim. I like to describe it as like the colors in a Picasso painting and then someone burned the painting and then like got all the ashes and just like mm -hmm. ate them. Yeah. It's like a Japanese watercolor painting. Honestly. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's pretty much. That's what I have. All right. Yeah. Thank you for coming out and look forward to hearing the new release. Thank you. <laughs>